hello and welcome back to the channel today's tutorial is on how to make an off shoulder play suit with cape first i will be cutting the upper bodies so for the upper bodies i folded my fabric the front part into two and the back part into two using quarter of the bust circumference plus extra one inch so quarter of the bust circumference i'm working with is 9.5 plus extra one inch making it 10.5 and to the back part i've added extra one inch for the zipper allowance for the length i've placed my tape at five inches and i'm measuring half from the five inches i'm measuring 17 inches which is the half length plus extra one inch for joining allowance so placing my tape on the five inches because i'm having five inches off i'm measuring 11 inches which is the boss point line plus half inch sewing allowance and 17 and a half inches which is the half length plus half inch joining allowance at the top turning allowance at the top and then i'll have the other half inch for joining to the lower body so i'm making this um, measurements the 11 inch measurement and the 17 and a half inch measurement into straight lines i'm going to rule a line across so for the armhole i'm going to place my tape at five inches as usual and measure nine inches which is half of the armhole i'm working with I've noted that then on the neckline the start line I'm going to impute six and a half inches and how I got this measurement is by subtracting two inches from half of the shoulder measurement I'm working with and adding extra half inch for joining allowance to the measurement that's making it six and a half inches on the chest line I'm going to impute nine and a half inches which is quarter of the bust measurement I'm working with and I'm going to connect this to form the arm hole so this will act as the hump hole and I'm adding one inch joining allowance to the chest line measurement. Then on the waist, I'm imputing nine and a half inches, which is quarter of the, the waist measurement plus one inch for that. And I added extra one inch for joining allowance. Then for the dart, I'm measuring half of the bust span measurement, which is 4.25. I measured that on the waistline and on the on the bust point line and i ruled across them on the waistline i'm taking half inch on both sides of this line and from the bust point line i came down by one inch and i'm connecting for the front that this is for the front that so for the back neck depth i'm going to take one inch but i would i will not be cutting this out until i first cut out um these bodies then i would separate the front from the back and then cut out the neck width for for the back separately and the neck width of the front separate because i don't want them to be of the same depth so for the back i've measured one inch for the neck depth you can decide to make the neck depth of the front and the back the same but for this tutorial i'm making them different so on the for the for the dart at the back i'm also using half of the bust pan measurement but for the back the dart would stop one inch below the chest line one inch below the chest line for the front dart it stopped one inch below the bust point line so that's the difference between that in front and the dots at the back i'll also reduce the length at the back from the center back i came up by one inch and i'm going to connect this to the side to the side as you see me do and then i'll also remove half inch from the zipper allowance um to avoid um, zip bulge so i removed half inch from the zipper allowance and connected it to the chest line so i'll go ahead and cut out all these that are not needed and the back part is ready so i'll split it into two the back should be open because of the zipper that will be joined to it for the front neck depth i came down by two inches and i'm connecting it to the neck um, width so for the upper bodies i would just sew in the darts and then join them by the sides using the one inch allowance i left for joining uh, joining them together so for the um lower bodies which is going to be a short i folded the front part i'll cut the front part first i folded my fabric into two 
using half of the thigh measurement the thigh in this case is the biggest circumference because it's divided by two why the hip is divided by four so the half of the thigh circumference i'm working with is 14 and i added extra half into that and that's how i cut my folded fabric and for the length so for the length i've placed my tape on 17 inches which is half of the upper bodies and i've measured 40 inches 35 inches is the total length of the play suit plus extra three inches for ease with because it's a play suit and then two inches for hemming allowance so in total the lower bodies i have 23 inches of length so the first thing i'm going to do will be to measure out half inch this half inch would act as a joining allowance for joining the lower part to the upper part and then I'm going to rule across this measurement so from this line i'm going to measure out 13 and a half inches as my crotch depth normally my crotch depth for this size is 11 inches and to that i've added extra two and a half inches for ease because this is a play suit plus the half inch i have for the joining allowance that is i have almost three inches of ease and i've ruled across this measurement so the next measurement is going to be to measure out the two inches i would use for hemming remember i said i added two inches hemming allowance so from the top i'm going to measure out 38 inches which is the measurements the total measurements i'll have before the hemming allowance so i'm going to measure out this measurement i'm taking up this measurement 21 inches remember i said the total i have here the fabric is 23 inches so i'm taking 21 inches and then i'm going to rule across this uh, measurement so left with the two inches for hemming um, this short. Now on the crotch line, I'm going to measure out half inch, which is going to add as an ease or joining allowance, half inch. And from this half inch I measured, I'm going to take all the measurements I would impute on this crotch line. So I'm going to impute 11 inches, which is quarter of the hip measurements. Then I'm going to also put the same measurement on the waistline. 11 and a half inches I have on the on the crotch line. I'm going to put that on the waistline. And I'm going to join these two measurements together with a straight line. Then on the crotch line, I'm going to also impute 14 inches, which is half of the thigh measurement I'm working with. And from the crotch line, I came up by 2 inches. And from the angle there, I came up by 1 inch. And I'm making the crotch extension, the curve for the crotch crotch extension as as shown then on the waistline starting from the crotch side i'm going to measure eight and a half inches quarter of the waist measurement i'm working with plus one inch for that making it nine and a half inches plus extra half inch for joining the front crotch together making it 10 inches and then i'm going to add extra one inch for side seam allowance making everything on the waist 11 inches so i'm going to connect the measurements on the waist to the crotch but i won't get to the crotch i won't get down to the crotch line i would come up by two inches and connect this measurement on the waist to the two inches above the crotch line i'm going to divide half of my thigh measurement 14 inches into two excluding the half inch i have on the crotch line that's seven inches so i'm going to impute seven inches on the line for the length of the shorts Starting from the center side, I'm imputing 7 inches to divide this um, fabric into two equal parts. Then I'm going to divide the circumference I have at the thigh opening for this short into four. And I'm going to impute the measurements I have after dividing into four on either side of the 7 inches line point I noted. And then I'm going to connect to the crotch from the measurements I have at the length of the short. I'm connecting to the crotch line as shown. On either side then I extended to the hemming allowance so I've taken all the measurements all I have to do will be to cut out um, this front part and then use it to cut the back part for the back I folded my fabric into two and the width of the back is three inches bigger than what I have in the front and the length on top is at least three quarter inch more than what i have on the front part get the crotch extension at the back i've divided the hip measurement quarter of the hip measurement into two and from half of that measurement i'm 
remeasuring quarter of the hip measurement into the fabric for the back part and the point i have there would be for the crotch extension at the back note at the lower part the front and the back fabric are on the same length so i would extend that for the crotch at the back then i'm going to add allowances to the back part so from the waist i'm going to start adding one inch allowance because i'm going to join zip to the back part to the back part and then i'm connecting i'm making the crotch connecting it to the crotch extension i have to the back and also i'm going to increase the length in from for the back part from the front from the waist on the front i'm coming up by three quarter of an inch you can neglect this point since this is a play suit but that's how i would do it for this tutorial and i'm connecting to the side then at the inseam side i'm going to add two and a half inches allowance because i've not added any allowance to the front part the inseam part at the front um, part i did not add any allowance so i'm connecting this also to the crotch and that is it for the back part so all i'll do now will be to cut out the fabric i'll cut out this measurement i've taken on the back so guys um just in case you don't understand i very well because i'm being a little bit fast in this video i have another video where i i made a pinafore short and i'll drop the link in the description box in that video i explained slowly and it is very detailed please you can check that out in case you do not understand because of how fast i am in this video i'm going to reduce the front crotch by three quarter of an inch i'm going to reduce it and connect this to the side and then cut it out so i'm reducing the front crotch and this is what i have i'm done cutting out the pieces so for the dart i'm going to use half of the bust pan measurement and the dart in front the length will be about four inches and the dart at the back pant will be about five inches of length so these are all the pieces i have so for the upper bodies i'm just going to sew in the darts and hold them by the sides using the one inch i left for it for the shorts i'm also going to sew in the darts and for the front crotch i'm going to sew it close um and leave about one inch down there and for the back i would leave about seven to eight inches for adding the zipper and then sew up the remaining part of the crotch so for the front i've sewn in the darts as you can see and i'm going to add inner pocket to this so i've placed the front right sides facing each other and i'm going to measure out where i want the pocket to be i measured from the waist two inches and down i measured five inches and i'm connecting i will cut this out because this is where i would attach the pocket For the pockets, I've cut two fabrics on fold. So the length I have is, I need is 13 inches. I need 13 inches of length and the width I want is 7 inches. So I'm going to measure 13 inches by 7 inches. So I'll measure this and cut out the required measurements for the two pockets. I have two pieces on fold. So I'll cut this out. I'll then place these pieces under the front parts and I'm going to trim out. You see how I placed it with the open edge at the side. So I'm going to trace out so that the pockets will take the shape of the pants in front. So I've done that. I've shaped it. So I'll pick one of the pockets and place the front just to cut out the opening where the pocket will be. So you see that my fabric is folded the inner part is folded for the pocket so i'm going to pick out one side and cut it out just like i cut out where the pocket will be on the pants so i'm going to trim this out so that when it is attached this is how it will look the right side of the pocket would also be facing the right side of the pants i'm going to use this fabric then to cut the other parts remember the pocket is going to be two so i'll place it right sides facing each other and trace out exact thing i have now i have the two pockets with the opening so this is how it will be i'm going to place it this is how it will be after being attached so to attach it i'm going to place the open edge the cut out edge right sides facing each other with the fabric and sew it by half inch notch and top stitch towards the pocket side so i've already done what i just said i've sewn them together i notched and top stitched towards the pocket side next i'm going to top stitch the 
pocket with the front pants together by half inch seam so i would go and do that and show you so i've i've sewn them together i've top stitched the pocket you can see what i have and then i'm going to close up the pocket i'm going to close up the pocket this is how it will be but i'm going to flip it i want the seam to be inside so i'm going to flip it to the right side and sew the open part this way and so to this point where it is open and then flip it back out so i've sewn the pocket you can see what i have the seams are inside to the right side so you can see what i have the seams are in so when i turn out to the back part you will not be seeing this seam so i'm going to flip it out to the back part as how the pocket is supposed to be so when i flip it out i'm going to top stitch on the stitch i've made i'll top stitch on the part i've already stitched I'll top stitch this way. After that, I'm going to sew the pocket at the waist side to the pants. So I've done that. I've top stitched. I've top stitched this part, and I've also sewn the pocket to the front part to the waist part. So I'm going to trim the excess I have on the pocket. So I've done this for the other leg of the front part. So all I'm going to do now is to join them by the crotch. I'll place them right sides facing each other and sew with half inch. That is what I left for joining the two crotch together. And I'll stop one inch before the end of the crotch. For the upper bodies, I've sewn in the darts and I've joined them by the sides. So I'm going to attach a cape to the upper body. So to do that, I'm going to cut out a band I'll attach to the armhole. The length of the band I need is 10 inches. I'm going to use 10 inches of length and how i got this 10 inches is by subtracting the total neckline i have remember on fold my neckline was the neck um, width was 6 inches times 4 is 24 inches so i'm going to subtract that from the round shoulder i'm working with which is 42 inches so i'll have 18 inches and i'm going to have two bands divided by two is going to give me nine inches plus one inch joining allowance so that's how i got the length and the width i have unfold is two inches so i'm going to fold it the way i'm demonstrating and i'll attach it from the front side to the back side and the open part is going to face up that is where i'll be attaching the the cape to so i have another set of fab um, strips i have two pieces of this the width is three and a half inches and the length is 11 inches i will be attaching this across the shoulder so it's 11 inches because i've already removed five inch from my normal for my off shoulder so on for the front and back is 10 inches plus one inch joining allowance so this i would sew um by the wrong side by quarter of an inch and flip to the right side and then attach it so for the front pan for the pants the short part of this um play suit i've sewn the front crotch together i've sewn in the darts for the back as well so i'm going to join the the front part to the back part by the sides at the waist part i'll start sewing by one inch as i'm coming down i'll then sew by half inch to the end so i'll join them by the sides and i'll also remember to close the remaining part of the crotch and leave the upper part for attaching the zip so this is the front the upper bodies and the lower bodies i've joined everything by the sides i've only joined them by the sides that's the front and the back so what i'm going to do now is to join them the front upper bodies to the um, lower bodies I also by half inch making sure that the same lines align on both the top part and the lower part for the armhole I'm going to use a bias to turn the armhole to tidy the armhole for this um, play suit so I've done that I've I've turned the armhole and I've also turned the strip I said I'll be attaching across the um the shoulder. This is this is the strip I have. I have two, so I'll attach them across the shoulder from the front to the back and sew them one with half inch on the front and half inch at the back and attach them. So for the cape, I said I'll be use, attaching a cape. I've cut a long strip of fabric and the length of this fabric is nine and a half inches, including the hemming allowance i will hem with one inch and then join by half inch and for the width of this fabric i have two times what i have on the neckline so on the neckline i measured from one point to the other from the zipper part to the other and i had about 45 inches so i have two times of that on the fabric i'm going to use for the cape because i want to gather it and then attach it 
So after gathering, I'm going to attach the cape from the wrong side of the fabric and I'll sandwich the strip I want to attach across the shoulder in between the, the top and the cape and that's how I'll attach. So I've already attached my cape from the wrong side, right side of the cape, touching the wrong side of the of the play suit. So I would attach, I sewed by half inch seam allowance and i placed as i was sewing i placed the strip i want the strip i said i will be attaching in between the main fabric and the cape fabric so that's how i attach it so you can see how the cape so everything is inside so the seam is not seen so after attaching i then top stitch towards the main fabric not towards the cape this time around i i i, I top stitch so that it will lay properly so you can see my top stitch and you can see how the strip came out so everything is looking neat at the neckline so you won't see the seams the seams are hidden behind the cape so that that is it how i attached um, this cape and also the strip after attaching the cape um i would iron properly so that this would lay flat it would be looking nice and flat so um i would have to iron it properly then after all this i'm going to attach my zipper like i said the zipper will get into the shorts by seven inches or by eight inches and then i'll sew up the remaining part of the crotch i'm going to trim out the excess i have at the zipper part for the pants side so i'm trimming out the excess then i'll attach my zipper after attaching my zipper, I'll close the remaining part of the back crotch. I'll also sew the inseam seams and then I'll hem the opening for the shorts for this play suit. I'll hem that. I'll do all this and show you what I have. So this is it guys. I've attached everything. I've joined my zip. I've closed the inseam seams and I've hemmed the um, opening for the play suit, the lower part. So I also have a detailed video on how you can attach a cape to an off shoulder um with lining in case you want to use line and have a very neat finishing and uh, i would be dropping the link to that video in the description box is how to cut an off shoulder princess that bustier with cape so it's a very detailed video and you would really like that in case you want to turn yours with um lining so guys this is it on how we made this beautiful play suit with cape it's an off shoulder play suit and it has pockets and it's beautiful you can try this please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you're yet to subscribe and don't forget to turn on the notification bell so that you'll be notified every time i upload a new video bye